Welcome to this video on the Automatic Model Builder and PLS CAD. The Automatic Model Builder, or AMBER, is a feature in PLS CAD that will automatically build PLS CAD models from classified LiDAR data. This feature does require the Optimum Spotting module enabled with the PLS CAD license. Features shown in this video are from version 21 of PLS CAD. Let's build a model in PLS CAD using AMBER. To start this model, we need to load classified LiDAR data into a PLS CAD project. To use AMBER, a PLS CAD project cannot have an existing alignment, available structures, or available cables already populated. Classified LiDAR data is the basis for the PLS CAD model. So let's look at the classification needed for AMBER. Structure points are required to help identify locations for the structure and help determine the alignment. These are shown in the blue dots below. The structure base points, shown as the red symbol near the bottom of the screen, and the top of structure points are optional fields, but these fields can help be used to refine alignment and structure locations determined by AMBER. Wire point clouds are also required to be classified. For the example shown, the conductor points were identified separately from the shield wire. The conductor could be classified with the same feature code for all three phases as represented by the red dots here, or each phase could be done on its own feature code. Shield wire points in this example were classified on their own feature code. Wire attachment points are required to help determine structure locations, structure creation at each location, and stringing wire. The example shown here, the shield wire and conductor attachment points were classified on different feature codes. Let us now model a line in PLS CAD with AMBER. First, we will start with a new project with just classified LiDAR data. To run this feature, use the menu command Terrain Automatic Model Builder this is a new feature under development and we are actively seeking users, comments, and feedbacks for the next iterations of this feature. Now in the Automatic Model Builder dialog, there are two tabs that need to be completed. The first shown defines how to string wires. Each row of this table defines a set to string within PLS CAD. Users need to define the start set for each section as well as the ending set for each section. This cell defines how many phases are used per set. To let Amber know where to string from based on the LiDAR, I will define the wire feature code for my shield wire. Next, I will define my wire attachment feature code for my shield wire. Finally, I will define the cable file I want to use to string this shield wire. This will define one set, one phase of 7 16 inch, seven strand, high strength steel shield wire to be created based on the LiDAR point clouds for the feature codes defined. This will string a single shield wire in the model. Next, we need to define the remaining wires that we want AMBER to attempt to string. To do this, I'm going to load previous settings I have saved for AMBER for this particular data set. You can see how we are stringing two one set shield wires and one set three phase Bluebird ACSR conductor. The other tab to complete is the structure model options. The first option here is to define the feature codes of the LiDAR data to create the structures. The next field is an optional one that users can use to define the structure base points for this data set. Next is where you can define structure top points. This is an optional field and I am not using it on this particular data set. Moving down, the maximum horizontal spacing between structure survey points is a distance between survey points used to help cl cluster structures together. The next setting determines the minimum number of structure points for creation of a structure file. 
And the final option is the maximum horizontal spacing between legs of multipole structures. For this particular example, we do have multipole structures, so I'm going to use 20 feet for this option. Now we are ready to run Amber. You can tell Amber is done when in plan view you can see structures labels populated. Zooming in, you can see our alignment has been created. With the creation of an alignment, users can access the profile view. Here you can see structures and wires added to the model. By selecting the section, we can see that first shield wire that we added within the Amber dialog. Next, let's look at one of the method one structures created by Amber. Each structure is a unique structure file. In this iteration of Amber, insulators of all structures are clamps. Amber does try to account for suspension and dead end clamp insulators along sections. Now let's look at the 3D view so we can compare the LiDAR data to the PLS CAD model. Again, you can see the structures and wires added to match their respected feature code point clouds. Now let's turn off the LiDAR so that you can see the structures and sections that were added. If we select a section in the model, you can see how this feature created both tangent and dead end structures based on the lighter point clouds of the structures, wires, and attachment points. The staking table is also a fun one to show after an amber run is complete. In this table, you can see every structure that was created by this feature. Different stations, structure files, heights, and you can see there are 112 different structures created for this data set. I also want to show you the sections tables where you can see all the sections that Amber created. 27 new sections were added for this project. You can see the shield wires and the Bluebird conductors. Today I need to update the voltage for this, these particular sections. And these sections are displayed at a manual catenary and are not yet graphically sagged to fit the LiDAR point cloud. So if you want to do, run reports with these and do clearances, you do need to graphically sag these to match the wire point clouds, which you can do here in the command to apply column in the sections table. The automatic model builder is a great tool to help PLS CAD users automatically create PLS CAD projects that has survey data, alignment, structures, and wires. If you have questions or comments on the automatic model builder feature, Please feel free to reach out to the email address shown below and thank you for watching this video.